So first we always let the patients ask or speak. Many times they don't even know what to ask because this is a whole new territory for them. So I think the very first thing is you're not alone. We're here to be with you. We're here with you. Um, and you're in great hands. You have a good team. You know, building trust, making sure there's confidence in those that are caring for them because I believe healing is not just medicine. Um, healing has other um, dynamics to it like trusting and, and being comfortable with where you are. I think that helps someone heal. They're, so trying to establish that baseline for them, just kind of setting some, all that shakiness that's going on, like let's get some stability here. Okay, here's a little bit that we can offer you. You know, there's a, there's a lot of support and there's lots of resources available, but in that first meeting, I don't think that's the priority. I think many times people will wanna know, am I gonna live? Um, <laughs> can I go back to work? What's life going to be like after the next hour? I just got a bomb dropped on me. So how do we do that? We do it one step at a time, one word at a time, one whatever that might be for them. They may have children, they may have, there's, there's just so many things going through their mind. So it's just trying to rein that in a little bit and find one focal point and how do we talk about what's most important to them in that moment and then just step by step getting them through that. So what I don't wanna do is put a timetable. I mean, yeah, you think roughly an hour. Some people will take less. Some people are very, you know, very matter of fact and life goes on and they're, and then there's those that emotionally it's very, very difficult. So while you want to average an hour, I can say sometimes you want to be open to not limit yourself if someone's really struggling with um, acceptance or accepting even hearing that. But then again, that's where the team comes in. You want to make sure that as you triage the needs, you're pulling in your social worker. You're, you're getting the right resources based on what's going on. So once you do that, yeah, follow-up calls are extremely important. Let them kind of digest all this information. Um, we always provide them with a, um, a binder that has calendars, their appointments are written down. Um, try to structure it in such a way that once they get home, they can make sense of it because the right then and there in the office is different and I think my philosophy has always been that my role is to ensure this patient knows how to live with their disease because I'm only here and there and, and gone. <laughs> they have to go home. They have to go home with that. So how do I successfully help them do that? No matter what disease it is, it's theirs and we have to help them live with that.